<laughs> thanks, Zoe. Thanks for taking your time to um, sit down and do this interview process for me for um, a uni assessment. No worries. So um, just to start off with, just a bit of a background in regard to who you are as a person within yourself. Yep. So um, I've been in the fitness industry now for about 10 years. Yep. Um, came out of... Uh, college, not really sure about what I wanted to do, um, wasn't sure about university or which way to go, um, decided to start studying fitness, um, I always enjoyed the outdoors, um, sort of physical lifestyle, um, and yeah, studied fitness, took me a little while, um, took me about a year and a half to go through my qualifications, um, and just went through and began the fitness industry uh, yeah, about 10 years ago. And um, so you said you've been in it for 10 years. Yep. And how long have you kind of been operating up on your own two legs, really? How long have you been in it running your own business? Um, so the business is only coming up to two years old. Yep. Um, so in, in July will be two years of, of gym to you. Um, before that, I worked for another personal training um, business uh, for about five years, yep. um, which was a lot of fun. And I think that's probably where I learned a lot of um, what I know today and, and probably what um, inspired me to start off my own business as well. Yep. Um, but before that, I started um, on the gym floor um, in a really big gym, um, and that taught me the basics of everything in fitness. Um, you know, from cleaning equipment, ma maintaining equipment, um, talking to clients, etc. Uh, I guess the foundations of fitness. Okay, and you also have employed here exercise physiologist. Um, the idea behind that of kind of you know branching out into the more, I suppose you say, allied health mm -hmm. professional side of things. Mm -hmm. um, what was your initial thought and possibly expectations upon what that could do to your business as a whole, really? Yeah, um, I guess with, I mean, the, the service that I provided and how the business started was largely personal training business. Yep. So everyone that inquired or, or people that were coming to see me were strictly for personal training, you know, so it would be higher intensity, people would have specific goals, etc. Um, and again, in, in my, my um, experience in fitness, health and fitness, people you know, have injuries all, all the time. Different uh, varieties of injuries, for different reasons, different severities. Um, and I guess with bringing an exercise physiologist on, uh, that brings on a greater understanding of those injuries um, and the movements associated with as well. Um, so bringing someone on board who has that knowledge and that experience as well um, just expands um, the business's horizon a little bit, yep. makes it a little bit more dynamic. Okay. Yeah. And staying on that, with those patients that you know come to you and train, you said everyone goes through, everyone, if unfortunate enough, will have an injury. Mm -hmm. It kind of is it almost a way to kind of keep them within the yep. the business itself, so to say, as you offer yep. a different type of work. Yeah, absolutely. I think in the past, when if a client's had an injury, specifically something that stopped them from training, yep. they would stop training for four weeks, you know, at a time, or if it was a more serious one, for six weeks, you know, or a longer time, uh, and they'd go and see a physiotherapist, you know, or they might not go and see a physiotherapist, they might do nothing about it, but, um, you know, to have someone on board um, that can address that issue and that injury a little bit more, yeah. um, and work with someone closely so they can continue doing exercise um, while having, um, you know, treatment on the injury, per se, um, definitely, definitely helps to keep the clientele involved in the business the whole time. Yeah. So I guess it's kind of just weighing, because it's almost a balance of you keeping it within, but it's also, you know, it makes it easier for them, which can obviously make, well, yeah. you can help build your clientele yeah. also as you offer another yeah. service. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's in-house, I suppose, uh, you know, physiology, which is, yeah. which is what you want. You don't, down the track, you don't want to send them to someone else. You want to have them, um, doing everything within your business and, and uh, that does keep them on board, you know, and also for future, they, word of mouth, they might uh, tell their friends that we have someone like that on board yeah. and that brings more business to the business as a whole. Yeah, okay, good. So you've got your studio here. Mm -hmm. um, upon moving here or when looking for an area to work out of, mm -hmm. did you do research in regard to possible competition around or did you pick a location for any particular reasons, so to say? Um, I, I guess initially I didn't really look at competition. Yep. Um, I mean, I knew a couple of bigger gyms that were in the area, but uh, I mean, Canberra's a place where there's, there's so many gyms, there's a lot of competition. Yep. I think that it's almost hit saturation point for this kind of industry. Um, 
but uh, no, I mean, location location's a big thing in the fitness industry. I think um, people go for convenience more than anything, yep. and that goes for anything, any part of health and fitness. You know, so whether it's personal training, exercise, physiology, physiotherapy, whatever, if it's convenient for the person, they'll come. And location here. Uh, being fairly central in Belconnen and, and you know easily accessible from Gungahlin or Civic, um, even the south side is not too bad as well, yeah. um, was appealing to me okay. and it's definitely turned out that way as well to, to be here. It seems like all the clients that were on board have stayed on board yeah. and it's easy to advertise for clients around as well. Yeah, so it's a relatively central location to yeah. the people you work with, I yeah. guess. So. On expansion and even just starting your business on a whole, what was the initial, how did you feel about everything? Because obviously you got... Like you mentioned, you got the expenses for equipment, yep. um, even a studio you got for other financial, yep. yeah, the whole financial side to the, to the business as well. How did you go about that in the initial stresses, I guess you would say? I mean, with starting the business, because it was a mobile personal training business initially, yep. uh, and still is as well to some part, um, the risk wasn't as great. You know, because it was obviously purchasing a vehicle first, a little bit of equipment was expensive. Yeah. Uh, it can be a little bit daunting, especially, you know, a lot of what I've done in this last two years have been teaching myself. Yeah. You know, you learn a little bit from here and there or what other people have done. Um, but the big move was, you know, leasing this place and getting uh, a space where, you know, you have to pay rent every single week. And you've yeah, got expenses, right. you've got electricity bills, uh, you've got insurances, etc. So. That was the biggest step in the business, uh, which came a little bit later, but I think what I've learned in business is that um, step by step, the business will grow if you're working towards it, you know? Um, and it goes out to the nothing ventured, nothing gained kind of philosophy as well. Okay. And on that, so you know, you put your hard work and you hope that, you know, things kind of come your way with that. Initially, was there any kind of layover where it was like, you know, I've started up, I'm trying, even when you were on the road, I've mm -hmm. started up, I'm trying mm -hmm. to build my clientele mm -hmm. base. Mm -hmm. um, did, how, almost how did you cope with this if at times it did not, ta did not pick up, yep. maybe in the way that you thought it would have? I think I've been pretty lucky that the last two years, the ball just kept rolling per se. Yeah. You know, okay. it's, it's been, I have to say it's been pretty smooth. There were no real hiccups. Um, again, it's that learning process of new things coming in, you know, when you have to start um, paying GST, when you start moving everything online, you know, clients booking online and yep. um, just little bits and pieces keep going. And I think I look at that as overall business growth. Yep. So for me, the business has never really stood still, you know. In terms of finding clients, that was a little bit difficult at times. Um, but I think for me personally, client retention, holding on to clients, I do quite well, yep. which means I don't have a high turnover, which means I'm not always looking for new clients. Okay. So a lot of my work goes into keeping the clients I do have rather yep. than looking for new clients. Okay. So now that everything's kind of in motion and it kind of rough, looks after itself mm -hmm. in a certain way, is there anything looking back on the time or even more recently? Yep. Just, that you can change or do things differently for whatever reason? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Um, again, I think I've been pretty lucky in that my time within business has been a good experience so far. Yep. So it's really hard to say that I would change anything in the last two years. Yep. Um, I mean, hindsight's a beautiful thing. You'd love to have the knowledge that I have now and go back two years and maybe do things even better, but yep. um, I think as a, you know, from a business perspective, um, what I've learned and from other people I see, uh, I've certainly done as well as I could have. You know? And that's put the business into the, um, I guess, where it is now and, and it's it's very positive and it's, yeah. it's really moving forward every week. And I guess that kind of almost falls back onto, you know, an initial business plan or what you had originally yeah. expected of, of yeah. the business. So Def, I mean, a business plan is def, it's something you have to have, you know, I think um, when I first came up with the structure for the business, again, it was a largely mobile thing, yep. but I had, you know, everything written out on, on paper and, and uh, you know, ideas as they came to my head, got sketched down and, and I really planned every aspect of the business. Um, 
I was lucky enough, I had quite a bit of time to do that so that when I actually came to starting the business, everything was set in place. And it was just a matter of doing the small things, you know, yeah. getting business cards, getting uniforms, uh, you know, the logo was basically done, um, advertising, all that sort of things that uh, might be unexpected, you know, or yep. pop up, I already had those all in place. So everything's kind of like organised already, yeah. so everything kind of just... I think it's an important next. thing in business is just to be organised. Yep. I think that's probably the biggest thing. If, if you're disorganised, your business is going to be disorganised and, and uh, it's going to be hard to keep that business smooth, uh, moving smoothly. So. And was that your business plan? Did it always incorporate, like you mentioned previously, you know, you'd like to keep everything under the umbrella. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's generated more recently or you always had that kind of in the back of your mind, always hoping um, to... I think it was generated more recently. Yep. I think especially with getting uh, the exercise physiologist on board. Yep. That sort of opened up my eyes a little bit and I could see that um, you can branch out even further, you know. Um, it's uh, it's hard to say definitely, you know, what will happen with the business down the track yep. and how soon that will happen. Yep. But it's certainly, you know, planted that seed in my head for what could happen and the way that other businesses of the same form expand and become bigger. And upon identifying, say, talent like you mentioned that you jumped on you expanded your vision and you jumped you got the exercise physiologist on board what is it something that you look for upon in, in a person if you yeah. to get them to work with you within your business yeah. and what are the main characteristics i guess you could say yeah great question um i think what i would look for personally in um, an employee someone that i was hiring would be someone that had the same characteristics or traits as me. Yep. So fairly goal-driven, um, organised as we said, um, and motivated as well. I think just in health and fitness in general, you have to you have to be organised, you have to be goal-driven, yep. and you have to want to see the best in your clients, um, regardless of whether it's a personal training client or someone you're working for, working with for rehabilitation. Um, you have to find satisfaction in their satisfaction and their yeah. improvement, okay. I think. And uh, definitely getting the exercise physiologist on board, that um, he portrayed that pretty quickly and, yeah. and I was lucky enough to know him um, for a little while, so I knew that getting him on board, um, he was the right kind of person. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And the workings of the way that you operate, obviously. And that makes a smooth transition as well, yeah. you know, so they don't have to learn that sort of thing. You fit together and, and it just gels. It makes the business better as a whole. Yeah. And at what point do you kind of say, you know, I'd like to expand. Does it become a financial thing? Does it just because you may feel the time is right because of, uh, like you said, keeping your patient, uh, your clients that you have now in house, yep. and what they may think of an idea? How do you kind of go about the whole I think process? It's, I think it's a combination of all those things. I think yeah, definitely timing. You know, you sort of I mean, you're always thinking about the business. One thing I've learned as a business owner is you never switch off. You know, yep. some people go home five o'clock after they switch the computer off and they don't they don't have to think about work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> when you have your own business, it's never like that. You know, yeah. you go home and when you when you go to bed or when you're having dinner or whatever, uh, you're always thinking about it. You know, so um, in terms of growth and when to expand, um, it probably yeah, definitely a financial thing. I think yeah. finances have to be right, yeah. um, and obviously you have to see that the business is moving forward. For me, um, I got to a point where I was so busy that I couldn't take on more clients. Yeah. Um, so the next step for me was to get someone on board. Uh, and whether that was a personal trainer or an exercise physiologist specifically, yep. didn't matter too much, but just to be able to provide another avenue for me instead of turning business down to put that to that person and yep. say, look here, we've got something else um, you can jump into basically. Cool. Yeah. All right, and so just one last question mm -hmm. now, which is just pretty genuine in your eyes. What advice can you give to the people say, coming out of uni into the work field or just in general for anyone looking for a new job or yep. yeah I think I think probably the biggest thing and I think it's the way I approached it when I first um, was in the workforce I suppose is just to to work hard yeah um, you know to do do your best um, in whatever you're doing um, just give it your best effort um, I think an employer or someone who's watching will see that um, and if you're if you're working hard and trying to learn um, you're gonna you're gonna move forward and you're gonna, you're gonna succeed but I think hard work, as I said, pays off. So if, you, if you're coming out of uni or, or school or whatever and, and you've got the desire to go and learn and to work hard, um, you're going to get picked up pretty quickly. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy more uh, work a little bit more that way as well. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, in time to come, maybe 
we, yeah, we can put out, out be out of uni in a year's time, so Correct. they take these things on board and Absolutely. be able to implement them we'll wherever it, I end up. Keep it in mind and maybe we'll have a spot at gym to you. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially. All right, Ollie, thank you for your time. No worries, Daniel. Thank you.